learners today, we are going to take over from what we were doing yesterday, which was about class five work, properties of matter. Yesterday, we dealt with what you call effects of heat on matter, where we learned about uh, three ways, or majorly two, how that heat can make something expand. And when I talk of expansion, we tell you with what you call expansion in solid, liquid, and gases. We also checked on what you call as effect of heat on matter concerning contraction. So today, we are going to start on second part of this topic from class five, which is known as changes of states of matter, which we are going to deal with it today. Just like I told you yesterday, this topic is coming from standard five and is from page 106 to page 128. So straight away we start on this work. And also as we move on, I'll be telling you some questions that do come or have ever come in examination KCP, which year, which question, so that when you are doing your revision, you can be able to understand very well. Now, uh, the pages I've mentioned is from Primary Science, Primary Science Class 5, page 106 to 128. So changes of states of matter here, as we learned yesterday, we found that all states of matter do change from one state to another, except a few. They change either because there's introduction of heat or there's a reduction of heat. So all those things, we are going to look at them today so that you get acquainted on it. Maybe I draw, I use a drawing. We have the uh, all states, all states of matter can change can change from uh, one state, one state to another, either through, either through increase, through increase in temperature, in bracket heat, or through, through reduction, re, through reduction of temperature in bracket heat. So to take note of this one here, you will find that um, the solid and liquid they change when they are introduced to heat to another state. But gases do not change. So you can also get a point that uh, solids, solids and, and uh, liquid, solids and liquids change, change into another state, into another state, but uh, uh, into another state, into another state when heat is increased, when heat is increased, but uh, increased, but gases gases do not change, do not change, will remain the same gas. Next point that you need to note is that um, solids, uh, liquids and gases, liquids and gases change, change into another state into another state when when the heat 
in bracket temperature temperature is reduced is reduced but the solid will remain the same state but the solid will remain will remain in the same state in the same state so those are what we note we can explain this in summary by having a drawing for example you can have a solid like this then this solid you go to what you call as liquid and then you come to what you call as gases so as we are aware matter is having only three states that is solid liquid and gases then from my explanation i've said that if the solid and liquid are placed near where there is an increase of heat they are going to change into another state but the gases will remain the same when you come to the other side when liquid and gases are introduced or placed closer to where there is a decrease in heat or temperature they are going to change into another state but the solid will remain the same this one can be demonstrated by using the following diagram for example the solid when you introduce heat where there is solid the way i've said here is going to change into a liquid through the process we call melting through what you call as melting when you continue introducing that liquid which has a solid which has changed to liquid it will change further into what we call as gases through the process we call as evaporation which means the liquid is going to evaporate however if that liquid again the heat near that liquid uh, that gas if that gas goes near the place where the temperature has reduced that gas is going to change back or to go back into what you call as liquid and this process is what you call as condensation is known as condensation process if this liquid will further become cold then it's going to change into what you call solid and in this process the process will be known as freezing freezing remember melting require increase in temperature evaporation require increase in temperature however condensation and freezing they don't need any temperature they need to be the temperature to be reduced so that they can change into another state remember freezing is also known as solidification this one is also called solidification solidification process and then condensation is also known as cooling down we can also call that process cooling down so those are the things we learn about changes of states of matter then we can also have some other questions that do arise in the exam for example if you get the booklet of kcp you check on kcp 2014 number 16 the same question was brought in the exam about changes of states of matter that's kcp 2014 number 16 let us explain explanation about those processes explanation about the changes about the changes you will find that um, melting and evaporation you must have increase in temperature so we can put it in this form that melting melting and evaporation melting and evaporation require increase in temperature require require 
increase in temperature let me say heat heat or temperature heat or temperature as i mentioned earlier you can also note down the following question that has been brought in this part in kcp 2013 number 5 kcp 2013 number 5 2012 number 19 and 23 questions kcp 2011 number 16 and, and at the same time kcp 2008 number 10 we had same questions coming from this we move ahead about this melting and evaporation require increase in heat or temperature then freezing and condensation freezing freezing and condensation freezing and condensation require require decrease decrease or reduction under this part i've drawn here about solid liquid and gases we need to have an explanation about the changes or the process of changes. Explanation about these changes, I said one, melting and evaporation require increase in heat or temperature. This one here, for the solid to change into a liquid, liquid to change into a gas, they require increase in temperature. Number two, freezing and condensation. This is freezing and condensation, they require decrease in heat or temperature. Decrease also can mean reduction. They do not need heat to change. We can also say, we may find one time in exam, that which of the following processes of changes of states of matter need not heat to change? Need not heat to change. That will be freezing and condensation they require decrease in temperature. Because for the gas to go back to the liquid, they don't need heat. You need to reduce heat. Then the liquid going back to the solid, they also not, do not require heat. So therefore, those two. When you come to the next part of the explanation, melting and freezing will start at the same temperature. What do we mean by this? When you come here, you'll find that, let us say this is zero degrees Celsius. Then when you draw a line to cut through, if you take something like cooking fat, then you place somewhere, cooking fat always is below zero degrees. Maybe it's a negative or whatever, very cold, it's a solid. When you introduce where there's heat, that solid will start changing heat, the heat around it will change it and start to change into a liquid. When it ch starts changing into a liquid, it means the temperature is going from zero, going upwards. So when this temperature from zero goes upwards like this, it means it's going to start maybe from one degree Celsius as it goes up. That process is known as melting. Likewise, if you have something like water, liquid or water, you place somewhere, Remember water is above degree, uh, zero degrees in temperature. When you place this water in a fridge, that water will start changing its temperature down and down. So when it reaches at zero degrees coming down as like this, that process is what you call freezing. The same way under these changes of states of matter, melting and evaporation processes will make the surrounding cold. How, this, how, how will this one make the surrounding cold? For example, this is a cooking fat. This cooking fat place here, then around it there is some heat, maybe heat from the sun. That heat will move near that cooking fat. So when that heat goes near that cooking fat, the cooking fat will become hot, start changing the liquid. But the surrounding, 
the temperature will reduce, will go down. That's why we have said melting and evaporation processes make the surrounding cold. Although this statement appears very unique or ambiguous to some people, but scientifically it's correct. We come to this one, freezing and condensation processes will make the surrounding hot. Let us take an example of a glass of water. This one is hot water. If you place this hot water, let us say, on a desk or a table, then you move your hand closer, you will feel some warmth, which means heat is coming from this water going away, radiating. So that's why we can draw heat is moving away like this. The liquid will remain cold, but the heat from the liquid will move to the surrounding environment. That's why we conclude and say uh, freezing and condensation processes will make the surrounding hot. As we summarize in a diagram, you'll find that, um, you'll find that, for example, they like to bring this question in exam. They like to bring this question in exam, whereby if you have a glass, so experiment on this. Experiment to show, to show changes to show changes of matter. To show changes of matter, you have a glass here. This, inside this glass, there is some ice cubes. There are some ice cubes. Hope you know what ice cubes is. Something which is very solid form and can, is a frozen water. So these are what you call icy cubes. Then, you have placed this glass outside. You have placed this glass outside. Maybe there is the sun here. This is the sun. When the sun's rays will come or the heat will come closer here, at the time you'll find that this one here, you are going to have some water droplets on the glass like this. So this one tells us that the ice inside is very cold but the air around this glass is hot. So when this air comes close to the glass here, it cools down. This thing has two questions. Question one, they may ask you, which process is taking place on the wall of this glass? The process taking place here is called condensation process. Condensation process. Because this one here is water droplets. These are water droplets. Then, another question they may ask you that, uh, what is this one demonstrating? The demonstration shown here is that uh, gases or atmosphere condense water vapor. As I summarized, I said that this topic, you can find the questions from KCP 2014 number 16, 2013 number 5, KCP, you may also find this one in 2012, number 19 and 23, then in 2011, number 16, and 2008, number 10. With those few remarks, we have learned about class 5 work, that is problems of matter, changes of states of matter. Keep on reading. This is Vitalis Makanda. I wish you well. Thank you.